Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a quick video. We are going to be stuffing $444 into my various sinking funds binder. So we're just going to get right into it. First, we're going to start with my rollover binder. And this one is not getting any rollover money from my um, everyday um, binder. And the only one that's going to be getting, oh, I didn't even look. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> so we have $444. Okay. Okay, there. <laughs> so the only one that's getting stuff today is tips, and tips is going to be getting $4, and I have that here. So $4 in tips. I'm not going to count this but we should have $31 in tips. And that is just to leave tips for different services that I get, restaurants. Did I just break this? personal binder so anything that has to do with me gets put in here so beauty will be getting five dollars I keep saying I need to get my nails done <laughs> but I just keep biting them and I feel like there's like nothing you can't do anything to them because they're so short but I do plan on getting my nails done soon so now we have 100 250 70 75 80 so $280, I am getting my lashes done on the end of June, so I'm going to have to start putting a little bit more in here um, for my lashes, and then next we have laser hair removal, this is um, for maintenance for laser hair removal, so it's getting $5, $50, $70, 80, 90, 95, $100. I need a couple hundred to buy a maintenance package. I get my full body done um, for laser hair removal. So, but like I said, I'm in the maintenance stage, so I only have to go like once or twice a year. Um, shopping is not getting anything, entertainment, nothing. I think the last thing in here car maintenance is getting five and that is actually going towards my tires um, I have a slow leak in one of my tires so I know it's only a matter of time before um, I do need new tires and I'm supposed to have Twenty dollars in tires, so I am just going to let's see, five, ten, fifteen. Oil should have sixty. Twenty, forty, sixty, five. There it is. So now tires has twenty dollars. And then the last thing in here is to go towards my tax fund. So this is not to pay taxes, it's to get my taxes done. So I do pay somebody to do my taxes and usually it's about $280. So 20, 25, $30. I've been going to her for years, so I, I don't mind paying the $280 for her to do my taxes. So that is it for my personal binder. Next is going to be my family binders. Anything that has to do with my daughter and doing things with my parents as a family. So Disney is getting um, 37, 20, 30, 35, 
36 and 37. I have my ones off to the side. I don't know why I didn't put them here. <laughs> um, so my season pass is blacked out starting June 3rd. So I can go to Disney one more time. So me and my best friend are actually going on June 1st for her birthday. And then that'll be the last time I can go until the fall time. So whatever money I don't spend on June 1st, this is going to roll over to buying um, season pass for um, next season. So to get a head start on saving for that. And I'm... And usually I budget $75 for Disney, but I think I'm just going to budget $100 um, for the June trip because I'm fine, like I'm not going with my daughter, so we're going to stay there all day, and then so I'm going to need more money for like food and just to like enjoy myself because I bought this pass specifically to take my daughter to Disney so me and my friend she also bought a pass so we've only been together one time without my daughter um so usually when I go with my daughter we get there super early we get there around 8 30 and then we leave around three she's just too young she can't handle like a whole day there and to um like beat traffic and stuff we leave early but now i'm really excited finally get to spend the whole day there you know ride whatever ride i want to ride on and just enjoy the day with my best friend so i think a hundred dollars will be a good amount for um to budget for that day but anyways now we have 120 40 50 60 70 80 85 90 95 200 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 216 dollars. So if I budget 100, then the rest of the 116 will go towards the Disneyland Pass Fund. Next, we're going to stuff gifts, and that is going to get 20 dollars, which is going to be two fives and a ten. So, I'm actually, we'll actually just put all of this into others. So for her birthday, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to buy us the, like, fast pass, and that's $20, so there we go. And then, let's see, for my daughter's stuff. We're going to be putting twenty dollars and no we're not we're going to be putting five dollars and now we're going to have twenty dollars in her sports category uh, five ten fifteen and twenty so i don't think this year i'm going to sign her up for any sports she's just too young so this is going to be going toward next year because a lot of the sporting programs that they have in my city for toddlers, they start from ages three and up. So next spring, next summer, I'm going to enroll her in all the sports. <laughs> so um, this is what that money is going towards. Photos, this is for family photos. It's getting $5. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. I really want to do a spring, um, sorry, a, um, a summer photo shoot soon, maybe in like some flower fields or something. I think that'll be really pretty. For family fun, it's getting $5, and the second week of June, we're actually going to go to San Diego. We're going to be out there for three days, so um, three days, two nights. We're going to go to the San Diego Zoo one day, and then the San Diego Wild Safari Park the next day, and then the third day we're going to just go, like, to the beach. So, um, for I'm any, like, family thing that we do, like, going to amusement parks or anything like that, I pay for the tickets, not my parents. Um, so, for 
um, tickets to the zoo and the safari park. Um, it's going to be about $300 just for, you know, the three tickets. So this is what this money is going to go towards. So, um, I'm almost there. So this is going to be getting depleted soon after that trip. Um, we're going to go to Legoland like a month later. So then I'll have to start saving for that. And those tickets are more expensive. I think it's going to be about $400 for the three of us. My daughter gets into all these theme parks and stuff for free um, because she's only two. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 245. So I'm really excited about um, this little trip that we're planning because my daughter loves animals. So I'm excited to see her little face when she sees all the little animals in person. Seasonal activities is getting five. Um, we already pretty much did our spring seasonal activities, which was like strawberry picking, blueberry picking, some other little things that we did. So now we're saving up for summer. So going to the fair, a beach trip, and then um, fair, beach trip and then maybe like a water like a some type of water park trip so now we have 20 40 50 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 100 dollars 100 dollars towards summer and um like the fair and stuff that is coming up soon i know orange county fair is going on right now but i'm waiting for um um, did I say Orange County? I know the LA County Fair is going on right now. I'm waiting for the Orange County Fair to start. Um, holidays will be getting nothing today. Preschool. So this is getting a hefty $300. One, two, three. So I'm saving up for my daughter's preschool. She should be starting... Well, she did start a preschool, but the one that she's at now is not the one that she's going to stay at. The one that I want her at, um, like, permanently is still being built. So I'm trying to get at least three months ahead on tuition before it actually opens. Um, tuition is going to be around 800 to to $1,000 a month. So I'm the next month or two, I'm actually going to be picking up, like, a half a shift to a, a full shift a week at work that extra money that I make during that shift is going straight into our preschool fund. So, um, now we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 750, 70, 80, 85. So, 785 dollars. So, we almost have a month's, <laughs> a month's worth of, uh, preschool saved up. I can't believe how it's expensive it is um and then next is for her birthday party next year so getting five dollars so now we have 10 15 20 25 for her birthday party next year next we have disney pass which is getting five dollars so um i pay for like i said my parents um, Disney Pass as well. I'm not getting my dad a Disney Pass next year. I'm just getting me and my mom a Disney Pass. My dad is so busy that it's very rare that he can go. So I did buy him a Disney Pass this year. He was only able to go with us three times, which is fine because that um, one ticket is basically was almost the same price as one um, one pass is basically the same as one ticket. So it basically already, it paid him going three times paid for itself. But next year I'm not getting him a pass. Um, just me and my mom. So I want to save $1,800 for that. And I think that is it. Why do I have money left over? I always have money left over. So I have five, 10, 15, $40 left over. Hmm. 
I don't know why I have that many left over. When I rewatch this video, I will figure it out. But yeah, that is it. That is everything for this uh, video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.